Dominique, Nica, Nica, s'en allait tout simplement Au oh Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu This is the nightmare of every young My young parisher, William, was surprised by his mother Josephine as he just googled himself. And since then only embarrassing silence is between the two. As I spoke with William, the 13-year-old lamented that he had only to have locked the door of his room, but he thought that he could google himself so fast that no one would even notice it. But it was different. Before William could close the browser window or quickly open another browser window, his mother Josephine just stood behind him. He just wanted to sunk in the ground. William told me, what does my mother now think of me? Even Josephine left very quickly with a flimsy excuse the room. But and there are so many such search engines on this internet. Josephine is a single mother. She told me that she doesn't recognize her son anymore. She's actually very, very, very tolerant when it comes to something like this, but at his age, I think it's just a little questionable. Josephine is particularly horrified, but horrified that her son googled even with quotation marks. So she is convinced that he obviously didn't do this for the first time. I hope only he at least washes his hands afterwards. But how should parents who have often begun only in adulthood to Google themselves, how should they deal with such a situation? Let me ask the behavioral scientist, our beloved professor, Dr. Friedrich Raut. Good day. Self-googling at this age is quite naturally. The young people just want to experiment to find out more about themselves. So even to excessive self-googling is medically safe. Allegation that one can get hair on the palms and the fingers or even suffer a spinal cord atrophy refers in the realm of legends. Okay, yes, but the question remains, is this moral? And shame on all those of you who just know Google themselves between quotation marks.